Hello again, it's Priscilla Battell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it's super hot, but I went in the pool and maybe I won't die. It's probably $100, $100 yeah, it's probably 100 degrees under this tent. And I'm going to do the best I can. I have a restaurant that I've been showing at in uh, Brooksville, Florida called the Rising Sun Cafe and their food is amazing. And uh, I would like to sell something from there and I had somebody interested in purchasing two pieces of art the other day. And uh, I realized that because there's no lighting, no bright lights in there, yeah, I just did that, um, <laughs> that I need to make some brighter artwork. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt to make some brighter artwork. And even though I'm not sure it's in my best interest, <laughs> I'm going to start with um, some stripes of white. I wasn't going to do a, why would I turn that? I wasn't going to do a, uh, a swipe, but I am. I'm going to use... I'm going to try and make this a little uneven. And I'm just going to put colors down. I want, like I said, I want this to be light and bright. And in order to do that, I need to use light and bright colors. And so that's my, that's what I'm going to attempt. I'm really tongue tied today. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure how this is going to go. My intention is to try and dump it over the edge with my edge catcher. You never know. I might change my mind entirely. I would like to. I wish I had checked that all my tips were clog free first. And I did just prime a canvas so it's across the room, so or whatever my space and. Uh, I don't want to splooge onto it, so I'm going to take a second to clear this out and hope that I can actually get something out of there. I may go back and add some more white. My temptation is to just go ahead and use an acetate card right now. I see that that would be a cool idea. Um, I'm going to try and force myself to stay bright, but I don't know how that's going to work. You know, yeah, I'm just liking what I'm seeing more and more. Makes me want to use that acetate card. I'm wondering if I can sneak a little bit of neon purple in there. That's a folk art neon. And when you use it on white, oftentimes you will be able to uh, keep your color. Yeah, it's time to go back to the time to go back to the white again. I kind of think I used white pearl. Be nice if that would come out. I've got to mix some more of that color, obviously. I've got a sideways spew. No matter what I do. All right, I've got some paler pink. I'm not always the biggest fan of this, but I did just change it up the other day. Yep, it's very similar to some other stuff in here. I'm inclined to add a little tiny bit of red. Or here we go. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, that's just flow troll that rises to the top. That's why I always shake these. Always being a keyword there. Maybe I didn't shake that. I'm I'm not sure what's too much paint and what's what's not enough, but uh, I am sure that if I didn't use this yellow, that I should. And whatever I do, I I am putting purple and yellow together, which is not necessarily a combination that's going to work unless I'm very delicate because it could turn into something we don't want. I'm going to go ahead and use my white metallic from Anita's again. If I don't like the way this looks when I tip it the first time, I might just pull out the card, the, as, uh, the acetate cards. I also might put chain in or any number of other things. Um, or I could just stop now <laughs> and leave it alone. Um, let's put a little more over here. I want everything to run. And fortunately, for me, on a day when the paint is, uh, it just came out of a cool environment, but it warms up pretty quick. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of this new Art Mines turquoise that I think is very pretty. Just a little bit everywhere. Set my timer. Where else? I think somewhere else. That purple is pretty nice and dark. I wish I had more of that. I really do. I think maybe, mm, 
maybe not. I don't want it too totally even. I do want to make sure that the white is the catalyst, even if it's the white metallic from Anita's, the pearl, I call it. Um, all right, let's see what happens. Never done it quite like this before. I did it the other day for the first time when I was getting my swipe ready. I might just keep this. You can never tell. All right, I'm letting it pool on the edge catcher and I'm throwing it back again. And I cleaned off that edge catcher. I'm gonna change my canvas around and grab a dry spot. Probably gonna wish that I had put white paint all over the whole surface of the canvas first, but I didn't want to dilute the colors. So I probably will do this again, a variation of this again, because I love the stripes, but um, I'm thinking I'll do it on a white painted surface. I'm going to rock that edge and move it down so I can cover it. And that's all pretty cool, but I don't think I have much choice about what's going to happen next. And I have a wet cotton uh, t-shirt hem, and I really want to make sure that I have enough paint along my edges. So if I have to come back and touch up gaps, but that's not one of the gaps I have to touch up. All right, this is one of those, because I can, <laughs> because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link, the first hundred videos on YouTube, and um, because I need to know, it's just an experiment. Yes, I am filling in the gaps that I see, and I'm pretty sure that the white metallic will help us pop some cells and... I'm going to just weave and wave all over the place. I gave myself huh, a clean side of this. But I think I'm just going to keep using what I've got. I did something like this way long time ago. I kind of think it would be okay to leave a few more not swiped areas in the middle. I'm going to use all the paint that I can get off this very gloppy rag right now, even though it's making a mess on my tile, to cover my edges with paint that's very similar to what's on top. Pretty happy that the yellow didn't all turn gray and that the purple didn't turn everything mucky brown. I see that thing there. I wonder if I can fake it out. I think this reminds me of something else I did a while ago. Yes, I am playing <laughs> with my skewer and creating a few spirals. Because I can. I kind of like those solid colors, and I think the next time I do this I'll use a smaller rag. I'm going to look for any missing pieces of canvas, or uncovered pieces of canvas, and touch them up with my finger right now. That's not one. That is one. Glad I have my glasses on. I need them. And I'm going to pull out my torch, and hopefully it's soon enough so that the potential is still there to release any cells we might happen to see. It is a more light colored painting than some. I could probably tip this. I don't know what good that would do at this point, but it makes me want to grab my basting brush and fill in a few sort of less than perfect areas and see what will happen. On top of the swipe, if I do that, 
and look for little spots that might be missing. Because I can! And we all want to know. Well, at least I want to know. <laughs> I like the basting brush marks. And maybe next time I'll just do one with a basting brush. <laughs> Now I can go in and add a few things if I want to, because I want to, because we've got plenty of time left. I may have to go cool my camera down in between. If I can catch it fast enough, then I don't need to worry about the paint setting up, but paint sets up pretty fast right now. I like the effect of that. So I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to grab the colors that were in this originally. I'm not going to try and overdose it. Oh look, we made green. I don't think I used any green. Let's, uh, that's that turquoise. Now paint flows to paint, and uh, even if I scar down, scrape down to the canvas right now, it will, uh, it will allow me, it will heal itself. I have a new color. I didn't put it in there. I don't think I care. I really want to see what it looks like. This is an Art Minds. Wait a minute. This is a Folk Art Blue, and I added some Unicorn Spit to it so that I could get the color I wanted. So far, I'm not unhappy with that. That's kind of a lot of fun, actually. Do I have another color that I want in there? Do I want to just keep playing with it? You bet I do. I do it for you. Well, I do it for me, but I do it for you, too. So you can figure it out. What else? I'm just having too much fun, so I think I'm not going to stop having too much fun. I'll go ahead and maybe, if you'll come out, I think that blue's got to go in there. Either that or it's going to be something else entirely. I'm not sure about that at all. I want that to be gone. Oh, there's some pretty color under there. Let's move it over here. What else do we have? I like that pink again. I kind of want to put some more of it because it dries iridescent like a butterfly wing. It's very shimmery and pretty. I don't know. I got so many things I want to try. I really do. some dark purple and I kind of want to use it. I can tell the paint is getting hot. I'm going to wipe off my yellow. Steal some of that pretty pink, which reminds me. I can do that wherever I want. 
that wasn't where I wanted, but that's okay. It will become where I want it in a moment. I kind of don't mind the dots. This is a large area that I want to do something with, and I'm not sure what that something is yet. I could use chain, but I think the basting brush is the way to go. I just needed something way more dramatic there. Usually, my opinion would be that you need to start on the edge. I believe I will get away with that. I hope that is true. This is bugging me over here. I got 26 seconds left. There, I'm kind of liking that a little more now. I saw that splooge go out of the corner of my eye. I am going to just keep adding. I got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I want to tell you, which is usually shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you and it helps me out. And that's where you're going to find my Oxo Omelette turning spatula. I want some red orange. I think that's what's missing. I do sell my artwork, so if you're interested in something, just please inquire. I think some more of that red-orange is going to be the cure. I'm so happy I'm brazen and obnoxious. I give classes at the studio in Spring Hill. If you want to communicate with me, just do so through YouTube, and I'll give you my email address. We can have a chat about whatever you want. Ask me all the questions you want. I'm happy to answer them when I have time. And I'll get to you as soon as I can. What started as a swipe is not as much a swipe as it was, but it's still kind of fun. And I like it. It's got good colors. I love you guys. There's 65,000 of you. Actually, there's probably 66, 66,500 of you by now. I could put some white in there. Maybe I will. Let's see what that does. Be careful not to be too schmutzy with my messy silicone spatula. Excuse me. That was a basic brush. Yeah, it's hot. Did I mention that? <laughs> So that was a fun experiment, and now I'm going to do another one. I love you guys, and I will talk to you anon. Um, on the end screens of this video, in the last 15 seconds or so, you may or may not lately uh, find a place to subscribe, a link to my website, and the availability of over 600 videos in my playlist. If you want to help me out, I really appreciate you guys giving me a thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm where to put me. Uh, give, to give me better placement and uh, it works the same way if you decide to watch watch longer and if you decide to contribute to help support the studio you'll be in this month's contest whichever month it happens to be and I will uh, send you a receipt that includes whatever this month's prizes are so I uh, I'm being approached by someone while I'm finishing my recording and I'm completely distracted, so I will see you guys in the next video. This is Priscilla Bassell in Spring Hill. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Love you guys. Check the end screens. Why did you do that? I heard the buzzing.